Yo, check out my new sponsors. No need to wait any longer for your coins. It's in the name, instantmaddencoins.com. They have coins on all platforms. And use my code JAB for 10% off. Yo, Jeff fam, what is up? Just a bro back again on Madden Mobile. And today I'm going to be showing you guys the sets that I have completed. All the sets, all the best sets for profit, everything to from, from making coins to building your team. And I'm just going to go through every single set that I have completed multiple times, you know, for the, uh, the recyclable sets. The sets that you can redo every single time. So starting off, let's go to Thanksgiving. I've, uh, sides, they're great. You can pull elites. I've only done it three times. Not really, not really stressing over that one. I've done the Thanksgiving Master. That is, uh, pretty much everything. So I always do with the, the promo set. Just because I want to get the icon. Even though it's usually a little bit more expensive than buying the player. I always do it just for the icon and actually getting the player. We're going to actually skip thanksgiving promo we're gonna go into weekly locker players and teams so let's start off with weekly uh daily warm-up first thing i do every time i get on Mad mobile i do the daily warm up daily warm-up now what what you see here i'm not gonna claim it i'm actually gonna wait because whenever they release a uh, a new promo they didn't do it for thanksgiving but they did it for most feared they had uh where if you collect seven daily warm-ups the collectibles you can turn it in for a most feared pack and that was like that pack was worth like 50 60k and that's basically a free pack right there. And I pulled an elite from there. And I'm just waiting for the next promo. I'm just going to get rid of all these collectibles. And moving on to the promo daily warm-up. So if they ever release things for the Thanksgiving, you get yourself a free Thanksgiving pack. You guys know what I mean if you completed it. But if you don't, you'll see it if they do it for Thanksgiving, if they do it for Christmas. So keep in mind, top right corner of almost every single set that I go through, I've done the daily warm-up 17 times. That is over 100 collectibles. That means I've done the daily warm-up over 100 times. Like I said, it's the one of the first things I do, I do when I get on Madden Mobile. Let's game plan. I don't worry about that. That's one of the worst. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, have you pulled anything from that? I've never pulled anything good from that. So that's kind of a waste of time for me. NFL post game. This is honestly one of the best ones. First off, you get 2.5K right there. And then if you collect the uh, collectibles, you get a, basically a free premium pack if you complete the live event. Now I'm four off the live event. I used to have like 70 of these or like 80 of these, but I blew them all on another set you'll see in, in, in just a little bit. But you do the scrimmage pack and, or the scrimmage live event, you get the collectibles and you put them in the post game, you get yourself a free premium pack. That's two, three gold or better players. So a really cool set right there. And sometimes they even have most fear packs like they did during uh, most feared maybe they'll have a thanksgiving on thanksgiving day but uh that is that league versus league i've done this at 13 times i basically only did it for the achievement for gronk the required you know 10 collectibles but i haven't really been in an active league so i have not got that last win i need for the last three collectibles i don't know when i'm going to do that and mold master gronk you guys know the drill about that move on headliners i don't think i've done this multiple or that many times only six Live event is it's cool, but you get one gold player out of it, and if you're lucky, you'll get the most expensive player. Like this one, Doug Baldwin is the most expensive during this week. This one, Justin Simmons. I'm not gonna go through all of them. This one, Javoris Allen. But you guys know the 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 gist of it. Uh, team of the week, I do that. Um, you know when I can. Five. Uh, I pulled an elite only one time out of the five sets I've done. As you as you can see in the top right. Moving on, showdown. When that live event is out. You kind of want to stack up on that Luke set because this is the best middle linebacker in the game. And then Legends, I don't, I've done, I think three Legends. I've done uh, Javon Curse one time. Where's he at? I've done Javon Curse and I've done Champ Bailey. I think twice. Oh no, only once. And this one, this is my favorite set in the entire game because on Fridays, as you can see, I've done it 29 times. You, I get elites. Probably 75% of the time from this set. And just that DYAR, the defensive defense adjusted yards above replacement, that one is very rare. And same with power success. But nonetheless, if you can if you can get these collectibles put into the set, you're basically getting a free elite player over half the time. If you do 10 of these packs, you'll probably get an elite five times. Alright? Just saying. Moving on to locker. Quicksil, I've done it 82 times, never pulled over 500 k Not as lucky with that. Or maybe have I at least once? I don't remember. I think I pulled 250k. This is the one I've done a shit ton of times. 169 times. This is the one where I had a bunch of the scrimmage, you know, post-game collectibles. I put in the uh, in the set with the silver trophies, and I got a bunch. Like I do it when 
I'm around 13, 12, or 12, 13, 14 away from a game changer pack or another daily warm up pack or just one off another pack because you'll get the collectible out of it. You, I always get game changers, I always get daily worms, veterans, journeyman collectibles from this collectible exchange pack. It's one of my favorite packs in the game. Really glad EA released it. Moving on, game plan. I've done it three times. Uh, don't recommend that. Don't recommend doing that. Same with the elite game plan. Trophies are like 25k right now, 24k. Don't recommend doing that. Defensive units, they're a high risk, high reward set. Uh, 11 elite players, that right there is just a shit ton of coins. And then 20 elite trophies, another shit, another set of shit ton of coins. So that I'd, I don't recommend doing that unless you're, if you want to just, I don't know, just go balls out, balls deep with that set. Try to make sound coins if you pull a really rare one. But you can't pull the most fear anymore, and I don't think you pull Silver, Silver Crush, the Lions. Silver Crush, which is the Lions unit. Wheel of Players, I've done one time. Not not a big uh, set for me. Could be cool for a video if I actually do pull an Elite. But Gold Players, these are pretty much the stables from last couple seasons. This one, Gold Player, Elite Player. This one is not, this is a joke. This one is not worth the 10 Elite Trophies right now is 240k. The best base Elite, I don't even think goes for... I don't know how much Pat McAfee goes for the punter. He's the best one. Even so, I don't think he goes for that much because the Johnny Hecker punter is better than him. All right, moving on. Elite Player Exchange has done this one a lot. That one is pretty cool. X Factor I've done six times. This is a solid one. Once again, it sucks that the X Factors don't have boosts, but the Delaney Walker does have 97 speed, and it's probably the best one. And Trophy Master. I haven't I haven't done Cam Newton. I thought that was... A, it's not a waste of coins, but I know in the future there are going to be better quarterbacks with better boosts. So, I'm just I'm rocking RG3. I'll show you guys my team right after this. Or maybe for a separate video if this video is not, is not too long. But once again, these are the staples. Bronze, Silver, Player, and Gold Player trade-ins. Same with the Bronze upgrades. Silver and Gold. Now, I've done this one one time. I pulled something that goes for like 50k, so... It's once again another high risk, high reward. I don't know how much these gold game plan collectibles go for. They might go for a little bit. So it's cool for a video, you know, going balls out, balls deep. But if you don't pull a run type play, or I don't know, the two point conversion run or run plus short pass or run plus play action pass, then those won't, the other ones don't really go for that much. And if you don't pull a really good combination play, like a tight end corner and a halfback dive. Moving on to players, Tom Brady, I don't know why they released this set, Waste of Three Elites, I mean, I could do it if I had that Herman Moore, Zach Streif, and then Herman Moore, I'd, I'd be able to get the 90, the 90 Brady, because these are not auctionable, but I want to keep Forte, I want to keep Streif. Uh, journeyman player, I don't know why it says I've done this zero times, I've done this probably five or ten times, I guess because they updated the set, they got replenished to zero. And this one's really cool. If you get 20 of the Journeyman Golds, and then you only put one Elite Trophy, you get an Elite, which is really cool. That Reggie Bush is one of the best ones. I don't know if you guys can hear that background sound. It's, uh, I don't know what that is, but if you guys can hear it, I do apologize. Moving on to Veteran Player. I've done this 14 times. I've never pulled an Elite. Always a Gold. Always a Silver. Cool set. Just not lucky with it. Game Changers. One of my favorite sets. Done it six times. Have never pulled an Elite, unfortunately. Uh, I think my best one was JJ Nelson, or yeah, I think it was JJ Nelson to be honest. Uh, the Champion Masters, I have not. I've been so unlucky with these, man. I have them all like, almost all done. I've done Streif. I'm one off Bethe. Need two for Malik Jackson, three for Tory Master, Tory Smith, and then they release these next uh, four players. So kind of a bummer. And flashbacks. I don't think I've done too many. I've done Eric Decker one time, and the best part about flashbacks, they're replenishable. You can redo them, they're all repeatable. And didn't have not done Timmons, no folds. I've done Jared Cook once. I'm trying to remember. I've done Clady one time. You can see the top right. I've have I done Arakpo? No, I have not done Arakpo. I've done Jenkins twice, as you can see in the top right, and I've done Reggie Nelson one time. And those guys are actually still on my team. Actually, Jenkins is not. But Reggie Nelson, Arakpo, and Clady are on my team right now. And you guys know Von Miller. Uh, where's he at? Cool set. You get a 99 overall, the first 99 overall of the game. And yeah, let's go on to teams. If you guys are going for that 99 Gronk, by far go to teams and go to these. There are 32 teams in the NFL. You need 100 sets to complete that uh, achievement for Gronk. And these, this is already, you just knock out these. Very cheap to complete. 
that's already 32 out of 100 plus the easy ones that you go through through weekly locker players and teams uh for deandre hopkins he, i don't think i'm gonna complete it he doesn't go for much anymore he's around 400 500k uh once again let me just tell you, i go for the strength agility speed awareness and excel boost there's no speed boost from these dudes actually let me just tell you who i went through and completed i did i did charles Sims and, and uh, david johnson because i needed a new hat pack at the time and they were the best ones i've done kyle long for the strength boost i've done eric reed for the agility i've done barksdale the charges here for the strength i don't know why i did marquis palsy i guess because i need a new center at the time uh talvin smith had agility nick mangle with strength trey turner strength uh, Tyler Lockett was agility, Mike Mitchell was awareness, Mike Mitchell was awareness, and Vince Wilfork was strength. Now for teams, I might complete in the future just because it's plus 5 excel Xavier Rhodes, even though I do have, I do have, uh, this Richard Sherman. So I guess I will show you guys my team, but I'm going to quickly just glance over, you guys can just glance over, I'm not going to talk about it, but I do have this Levers League Sherman, I don't know if it's been showcased on YouTube yet, kind of slow 85 speed, but great covered stats. I am a 97 overall. This is my team. Just a quick, just pause the screen if you want to look at it. This is my offense. But let's go back to sets. So yeah, I might get it. Might get that Xavier Rhodes. But let me go through the ones that I have completed. All right, starting with Andrew Woodworth, plus two run block, Joe Hayden, plus two man coverage, Justin Puig, plus two agility. One of my favorite ones. That plus two agility was amazing. I'm so glad they added that. I love agility boosts. Uh, finesse moves from Mike Daniels. Impacts from uh, Ronnie Hudson. Need a new center. Johnny Hecker. I think it's plus two kick power yeah kick power um cj mosley is plus two pursuit jari evans is plus two pass block cam chancellor plus two awareness and linville joseph is plus two tackle so that is everything i've completed guys all the sets i've completed a lot of profitable sets from this once again guys i want to thank you for watching really do appreciate it uh, if you guys were just wondering who are my special teams I want to thank you guys for watching. Leave a huge like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.